Okay, hi everyone. Um, Shannon's back again. Uh, this will be the third, part three, of um, getting this procedure done. It's your uh, estradiol valerate uh, hormone injection. <clears throat> Disclaimer, this is all perfectly legal. These are prescribed medications. I'm not promoting self-medicating and um, self-prescribing. Um, go see a physician, get your prescriptions, and follow uh, directions and procedures accordingly. Um, you need to be monitored. So, I, um, in the previous videos, I prepared my syringe. It's all ready to go. In this video, I'm going to get an alcohol swab and clean the injection site, drop my shorts, and um, try to minimize the exposure. This is not a um, sexually oriented video. So, another disclaimer. And uh, I'll try to um, spare you all the exposure as little as possible. I inject in the upper outer quadrant of my buttock. Uh, some girls um, inject in the legs, so in the thighs. So um, I choose the buttocks and I switch from one side to the other um, every other week when I do my injection. Today I'll be injecting in the right upper outer quadrant of my right buttock. So I'm all prepared with a three milliliter um, 21 gauge, one inch needle, uh, with my solution is already drawn up. It's an estradiol valerate or del estrogen, same thing. Um, I have a band aid here, cotton swabs, um, alcohol wipes. So I'm going to use the cotton swab and some alcohol and clean the injection site. And we will move forward with injecting. So it's pretty good. I already washed my hands. This whole injection of the whole work area site has been sanitized with, you know, I cleaned the area. I have a clean piece of paper down and uh, wash my hands with antibacterial soap. So, upper outer quadrant is going to be right around here. Okay, so I'm going to clean this whole area, sanitize it with an alcohol wipe. And what you're going to see here is I'm going to stick myself and draw back on the needle to be sure I'm not in a blood vessel, and then I will inject the medication. You're drawing back, no blood, so I can move forward with injecting, deep in the muscle. And that's your injection. <laughs> you put your cap back on the needle. Don't want any hazards taking place. You usually get a little spot of blood. Um, I don't like it with alcohol or anything. It just gives me an indicator. I wait for it to bleed. If it doesn't, see where to put my band aid. <laughs> and I see my spot. So you rip off a band-aid. So 
And I write here. There we go. My pants out, excuse me. Okay. So, that was quite an ordeal, right? Um, I had to do it in three videos. I hope you watch them all. So if, you, if you're watching just this video now, look at the previous videos for all the preparation um, to get to the injection point, uh, the procedure and technique. So, hope you all enjoyed it. I hope I didn't violate. That's not my intention. Again, I'll, come, I'll, I'll finish this off with a disclaimer. I'm not promoting um, by any sense of the word a self-medicator to go home, to get out and start doing this. Go see a uh, um, physician and be under supervision and um, see you that, okay? So I'll talk to you all later um, this weekend or something. Have a good day.